The Chinese real estate tycoon who donated 1.4 billion pesos to the Duterte government to build drug rehabilitation centers is being investigated in Beijing for corruption. China's anti-corruption watchdog on Friday says Wang Rulun is being probed over bribery allegations. He is seen as one of the major figures in the thawing of Chinese-Philippine relations. Huang's company, Century Golden Resources Group, is tagged by Chinese state media as a source of bribes paid to Bai and Pai, the party secretary of Yunnan province, in connection with the corruption case. A total of 17 firms and individuals are linked to the case, with the alleged bribes totaling 246 million yuan, or around $36 million, paid between 2000 and 2013. The 66-year-old Wang's billion-dollar business started out in Manila's Binondo district, where he came after leaving China in 1986 to start a small business. In 1991, he returned to his native Fujian province, where he expanded his business, later going national. Duterte praised Wang as, quote, a good Samaritan who came out of nowhere and went to my office and said that he would help me solve the drug problem. Moro Islamic Liberation Front Peace Implementing Panel Chairman Mohager Iqbal says the MILF is cautious about taking a bigger role in ending the crisis in Marawi. This after reports saying Maranao religious leaders want the MILF to negotiate with the Maute group. To negotiate, I think that's too much for us. You know, the issue in Marawi City, especially in relation to the Marawi um, Maute group, is so sensitive. It's so sensitive that, uh, you know, any imbalance uh, would mean something that is uh, very hard to handle. So we are very cautious. He says the MILF Central Committee has not discussed the proposal and there has been no formal offer or request sent to them. The Philippine Daily Inquirer reported Abdullah Maute spoke with religious leaders on Sunday and told them his group is willing to withdraw from the city if the MILF would intervene. The Maute group also reportedly agreed to swap their hostage, Father Chito Soganub, with their parents Kayamora and Farhana who were arrested in early June. Malacanang dismissed the proposal, citing the government's policy not to negotiate with terrorists. Facebook hits 2 billion active users Tuesday. Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg says, quote, We're making progress connecting the world, and now let's bring the world closer together. It's an honor to be on this journey with you. The social media giant's announcement comes as it works to redefine its purpose. Zuckerberg says, quote, It's important to give people a voice to get a diversity of opinions out there. But on top of that, you also need to do this work of building common ground. So that way, we can all move forward together. Facebook is under pressure, along with other social media giants, to tackle the proliferation of hate speech and extremist content, trolls and misinformation, while safeguarding freedom of speech. Facebook, Microsoft, Twitter and YouTube announced Monday the launch of an anti-terror partnership aimed at thwarting the spread of extremist content online. In support of National Disaster Consciousness Month, Rappler will hold the first ever AGO Summit on Disaster Preparedness from July 7 to 8 at the Samsung Hall SMRA Tagig. The summit will gather disaster management experts, stakeholders, and volunteers to talk about how we can all be better prepared for climate change and disasters. Tickets are limited, so register today on agos.rappler.com.